Hi, I'm Rachel Novak from the City of Leesburg. The Public Works Department and the Leesburg Center for the Arts are teaming up to beautify our lift stations with sculptural screening art. This is such an amazing opportunity for artists. Joining me is Ryan Gurdon, project manager over this specific project. Ryan, can you explain to me what exactly a lift station is? A lift station is essentially an elevator that raises the city's wastewater to a high enough point where it could drop down into the natural gravity feed pipes and continue moving that waste from point A to point B. And how many lift stations are in the city of Leesburg? Right now we have 176 stations throughout the duration of the city. Um, however, as the city of Leesburg continues to grow, so too does the demand. So be on the lookout for more. And are all lift station designs the same? They're not identical, but they do have similarities. They all have pumps and electrical components controlling those pumps, but the sizes change depending on the amount of flow going through. Another aspect that varies a little bit is the exterior of a lift station. Some have well manicured bushes, other have bollards to protect them from heavy traffic, and others have fences. Um, with all the lift stations we have in Leesburg, that's a lot of fencing and a lot of opportunity to make improvements. And that's where Leesburg Center of the Arts comes in. Well, let's go check in with Maria to find out a little bit more about these opportunities. Hey Maria, how did the Leesburg Center for the Arts come up with this idea for this public art project? So actually, we've been um, serving as a public arts arm for the city of Leesburg for quite some time. And with COVID, we really wanted to, everything was kind of put on hold, right? So we took this opportunity to really focus on public art projects and teamed up with Civic Icon Arts as a public art con consultant that we've hired on to help us kind of work through some of the ideas. And one of the ideas that they brought to the table was teaming up and utilizing some of the already existing infrastructure that the city has, like our lift stations, and working on a plan to beautify them. Some of them are in neighborhoods, some of them are on busy roadways, so we wanted to take the opportunity to move forward with, you know, trying to tackle five of them this year. And uh, that's kind of, that's where it started. You mentioned you're trying to tackle five lift station art projects this year. Where are those lift stations located at throughout the city? So our goal is five lift stations this year, right? The first two we're gonna start with are on a main, um, main highway. It is actually 27, so US 27, right in front of the Bell's Shopping Plaza. So it's Bell's Tractor Supply. Um, it's kind of, it's kind of sitting back by a retention pond. And then the second location is just up the road like you're heading north on 27 and it'll be on the same side, so it's on your right hand side, and it is um, right past the Walgreens. So the Walgreens one, is it's less hidden, so it's, it'll be, that's I believe two sides that we're working on. The one closer to the Bell's um, Shopping Plaza, that's just gonna be one side. It's gonna be the uh, side that's facing the highway that we're working with uh, several artists on um, to get the artwork on there. Uh, the other three will be in neighborhoods. So we've actually applied for a grant for the, the remaining three because we really want to help beautify the neighborhoods that we all are living in um, and give some, it's just something special. So we're gonna do a little bit of, it's gonna be a, a community input per neighborhood, what they would like to see on these lift stations. So we're hoping to get that, uh, we'll start that in the summer. And what are the benefits of the city of Leesburg investing in these projects? So there's several benefits for investing in any sort of public art. In this particular project, it is investing in the aesthetics of Leesburg. So the city of Leesburg has spent lots of money in the last couple of years really trying to improve our amenities, our core, our core area here with working with DOT and doing the landscape medians, um, investing in the, uh, creating a new Venetian center for our community to use, uh, working towards several other projects, the aquatic center, right? So investing in the public art aspect, it just really complements that and improves the, uh, enhances the aesthetics of the city of Leesburg. It, um, as a whole into our uh, neighborhoods and our communities. Um, it builds community pride and it really starts to uh, showcase an identity for Leesburg. Um, we are the lakefront city, so we want to be able to have that kind of play throughout the thread of and the DNA of Leesburg and what better way to do that with, than with art. 
Um, so I'm going to turn this over to Pamela because Pamela with Civic Icon Arts can tell you more about the benefits, about the logistics of if you are interested as an artist and how to apply and um, so much more for this project. Hi Pamela, can you tell us more about this process and where artists will go to apply? Artists go to apply uh, for this particular project to www.publicartists.org. Uh, they can find the application there. It will tell them more about what they need to apply. Um, and any public artist can apply. Um, they need to submit images of their past work. Uh, they need to submit a uh, artist statement and also their past resume. Um, and it makes it really easy to apply on there. You can also go to the Leesburg Center for the Arts website, which is www.leesburgarts.com. It'll have all the information there as well, and it can link them to the site. The process for selecting the artists is that once all the applications have come in, um, there is a jury made up of the stakeholders and artists as well as arts organization representatives and they'll narrow it down to three um, finalists. Those finalists will be paid for their concepts and from there uh, finalists will be selected. The commission for this project is $7,500 and that includes the artist fee and travel um, installation, all those things. The deadline for the application is March 25th and we uh, anticipate the installation to happen in July so folks can drive by and see what's happening probably in July. Wow ladies, this seems like a really neat project for Leesburg. Now remember, for more information visit leesburgarts.com. Thank you for watching Lakefront TV, your hometown station.